What would you have done though if he had said, ah, that's just my mom? I can't do those things and focus on anxiety at the same time. Right, I think it was so misunderstood. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Fascinating Womanhood channel, where we talk about everything that has to do with developing femininity and building strong, long-lasting, loving relationships. I am Cherry Lynn, and I'm here with my mom, Dixie Endel and Forsyth. Hi. Hi. So welcome back to another mini Monday. For those of you that are new to this, every Monday, we take a question from our audience. We quickly just read it off here and try to answer it as best we can. Keep in mind with these questions, we don't have a ton of information. So we just try to answer it with a little bit of information that we get from our viewers. So we're answering a question about a woman who thinks her husband's a little bit lazy and she's really frustrated. And she doesn't know what to do. So on our mini Mondays, we always read the questions out and bear with me here. This one is a long one. So I'm going to read it. It's a little bit long, but I think it's important to hear the whole part of the story. So here we go. At 13 years of marriage, I have always made my husband a priority. However, I do not feel that me or the house is his top priority. Yes, he works hard, but he gets a lot of off time and he gets to relax a good bit, especially because I literally do everything. He makes the money and works on his hobbies. And I literally keep house. I do all the grocery shopping, all the cooking, all the cleaning, all the laundry, etc. A very recent example of all of this is the washing machine started to leak. So I let him know. Now in my house, he is a Mr. Fix-It. He has built and rebuilt things his whole life. So we don't need a repairman. He can usually do the job. I didn't want to nag. So four days later, when it was time to do laundry again, I simply said to him that it appears the water is leaking from the bottom of the machine and it's during the drain cycle. So it might just be a seal or a hose that is loose. His response was, oh, I forgot to take a look at it. Two days later, he still had not <laughs> taken a look at it. And I said to him that I was going to get a drip tray for the machine to which he responded again. I'm sorry. I forgot about it. The following day <laughs> when I returned from running some errands and he had been on the couch literally the entire day, by that point relaxing, I told him that I had got him his favorite ice cream and some of his favorite snacks for the week, which he smiled and then simply said, I have thought about you a lot today. Did you think about me in the washing machine at all? <sighs> His response was, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot again. And then he finally went and took a look. So that being a very typical example, I don't feel me or the house is the priority that it needs to be. And so I don't know how to get that to change. Woo. <laughs> all right. There's several points to this. First of all, it sounds like she is frustrated with him because he doesn't think like her. She said that he works really hard, but then it sounds like she's saying that he gets a ton of time off. So I don't really know the balance of that one, but men don't think like us. It sounded to me reading it when she said she was going to get a drip tray, sounded like that was a temporary fix. I don't know whether yeah, she did that or not, yeah. but if, if my husband said he would do something and he didn't, and I reminded him once and he didn't. If it was me, I would just say, hey, I would just assume and I would say, hey, I know you're really busy. you got a lot going, going on on your plate. I'm just going to hire someone to do it, to take it off your plate. Right. Now, exactly. if he's Mr. Fix It, that probably will bother him and he'll just fix it and, and say, I need to have it fixed by tomorrow because I have a lot of laundry. I wouldn't yep. hint. Men don't get hints. She doesn't realize that she's hinting. The whole time that I was reading that, I was like, oh man, she's hinting. <laughs> She doesn't thing. realize it. And she's, she's taking care of all these things at home, but he's taking care of bringing all the money. And so I'm not sure where that all fits in because guys don't think like we do. I would just say, look, yeah. this is, uh, this needs to be, I need to have it fixed by tomorrow. I need to have it fixed by today and say it. And just, it, that's girlish way of asking. Very frank, very upfront. I need this. Yeah, fix. And the whole point, I think the biggest problem in this story that I'm reading, when I read it, I think she feels it's not about the thing being fixed. It's about, she doesn't feel like she's a priority. And that's the problem right there that you just said, which he doesn't think like you, therefore he doesn't display things the way that you might, you say to him, I was thinking about you and I got you this thing, but that's not how he might display his affection for you. He might display his affection by do being Mr. Fix it. He might be saying, Oh, I'm taking care of my wife. I take care of things and I pay the bills and I like to fix things and I'm taking care of her. And she must feel so loved. But that's like, but us ladies, we, 
we, we need a little bit more and they don't know all the time. They don't always necessarily understand. And I, I just reading this, I mean, I, I do all those things. I clean and I take <laughs> care of everything. I cook. You do that. I, do we, we take care of the kids. I don't expect much else out of him because I know that he is working and he is busy and he does a good job and he works really hard. He should have relaxing time if he's working really hard. And so should you, you should both get your time to relax. It's not a competition. You know what I mean? No, it's not a keeping score thing. So the best thing is to be upfront. Don't hint. Be upfront and say, <laughs> Hey, the washer's leaking. I need it fixed by tomorrow. Is there any way you could do that? If not, should I call someone? Perfect. Simple. Yep. And don't wait four <laughs> days. Don't buy ice cream. I mean, buy ice cream if you want, but the Perfect. hint isn't going to work. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. They need to be, they need a little bit, just this guy at least needs a little bit more direct feedback with, with a timeline. <laughs> And listen, Bob is the neuropsychologist. He's a professional and he, he doesn't need hinting either. He doesn't get it. My husband doesn't get it either. There's things no, all over the house and I'm like, oh boy, I wish he would get to that. And he forgets too. I, I get where this is coming from though with the washer. That's a little bit more urgent. So that's where the urgent kind of timeline needs to get in there. He needs to know, oh, this is, or I need to have this done tomorrow. Okay. Got it. You know, it's just, it's I, wouldn't have, it seems. I couldn't have waited four days. I couldn't. Oh, I couldn't wait that long either. Oh boy. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much for answering that one. I think that's a really, that's a really common one. And it's a great, I'm glad that I'm glad that she asked this question because it'll probably help a lot of others that are going through the same thing. And if you have a, a question that you would like to submit for a mini Monday, we'll list that email on the screen and you can email us and let us know. And hopefully we will pick yours for the next mini Monday. And for those of you who haven't read Dixie's book or haven't found us on social media, all the places you can find us are attached to this video and the links below. And we'll see you next time. Bye. See you next time. Bye.